Who isn't at times beguiled into taking flights of fancy? In a flash, we scale some lofty peak. Or escape our gravitational fetters. A junior sea captain pilots his ship. While a young lady sees herself a queen. And a business executive takes momentary leave of his office desk. This alchemy of the mind may spirit us away to some exotic corner of the earth. Our imagination may even land us in the cockpit of a jet or project us into any one of a thousand impossible dreams. But as marvelous as our fantasies may be, there's no substitute for the real thing. Imaginary adventures may stir our blood, but it takes being there to really get it moving. Or slow it down. For even when we are young and programmed for action, adventure does not always have to be jet-propelled, computerized, or dangerous to be exciting and satisfying. To savor this wide-ranging ingredient of life is within the reach of almost everyone because we can find it all around us in the world we call nature. A world that invites discovery in our garden, in our parks, and beyond. No wonder we call it the great outdoors. This natural environment of ours is profoundly complex and well-ordered. It is astonishing in its variety, beauty, and wonder. Logically, the handiwork of the infinite personal artificer we call our Heavenly Father. He custom-made it for us to live in, care for, and enjoy, and to help us understand His greatness and our dependence upon Him. Here, in the sacramental solitude of some wilderness cathedral, we can sort out our priorities, a wholesome antidote for the degenerative influences that permeate our culture. Here, too, is the arena for action. With vigor, we can stretch ourselves and face the elements, pursuing those strenuous outdoor challenges that test our mettle and strengthen our fiber. Responding to the tang of pure air, the charm of lake and mountain, the spring of forest litter underfoot, and the sounds of the wilderness, all the senses become messengers of healing to the spirit, and we return home invigorated, and better able to serve those around us in the hurly-burly of everyday life. This is the fascinating domain of that unpredictable creature, the camper who comes in endless variety. Some head for the hills, some for the open road, while others take to the water. A popular way to sample some of the many camping options is to take advantage of an established camping program. There's magic in the air as people board the camp bus. Dreams are about to happen. Old-timers have guessed what's coming as the reception committee swings into action. 
There's adventure in escaping the security of four walls to sleep under canvas, or under the stars, in choosing favorite skills, and learning new ones, and making new discoveries in the Bible. There's adventure in making new friends and sharing the many delights of camp life. Camps of this kind are a welcome bargain. The ingredients of a great holiday, expensive by themselves, can be put together in an economical package. Reliable 24-hour supervision, wholesome meals, use of valuable facilities and equipment, instruction in many skills, plus special features and resident health care. Camp Homewood is located midway up the inside waters of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, with a southern exposure on one of the safest and most picturesque harbors on Canada's west coast. Through the teamwork of staff and financial supporters over many years, it has been developed into the attractive facility it is today. The main lodge was named after Rivendell, a place of refreshment for travelers on the journey of life. Year-round sleeping quarters are provided also in winterized cabins, a dormitory, the guest house, and the homestead, the original lodge, warm with memories and a charm all its own.
itself contained with kitchen, lounge, and sleeping accommodation, and is well suited to smaller groups. Two other facilities are the well-equipped craft shop and the bookstore. Recreation vehicle sites are secluded but close to the action. In summer, many prefer tents, either their own or those provided. Young people come from across North America and overseas to serve as camp counselors. They come with a sense of mission dedicated to the physical, intellectual, and spiritual welfare of those in their care. When their finer qualities of character appear in the life of a counselor, they do not escape the camper's notice. Integrity, teamwork, unselfishness, spiritual reality, and cheerfulness. For more than 25 years, Homewood has offered high schoolers a counselor in training course to develop their skills and character for future leadership opportunities. On the academic side, the course includes Bible study and camp-related subjects. By being integrated into the support systems, CITs learn the importance of working together and also doing a good job on their own. CITs help produce fresh vegetables in the greenhouse and garden. Whole wheat flour is stone ground on site for homemade bread. How indebted our society is to volunteers in many areas of life. People who care and wish to serve are an important part of the support team, some at home and others at camp, often during their holiday time. Building trades are always welcome, especially when a project is underway. <laughs> Against a background of concern for health of our society, camping is giving many families a setting in which to strengthen their ties. Homewood family camps are structured to encourage a refreshing holiday spirit. Much of the day is left free for the family to be together on their own or in planned activities. Bible-centered studies are led by staff and visiting speakers. A cornerstone of Homewood's philosophy 
is the supreme importance of the Bible as our guide in coming to grips with life. There's nothing quite like a carnival to give one sparkle. Each summer, one of the family camps is dedicated especially to the devotees of Isaac Walton. So far, we've visited only part of the Homewood summer program, the Harbor Camp. In the heart of Quadra Island, on a chain of delightful unspoiled lakes, is the Woodsman Camp. This is a special favorite with many, because the program is tuned to the wilderness. With a leisurely pace, it's a blend of good fun, challenging activity, and thoughtful communication.
In moments of nostalgia, many campers and counselors remember that some of their best friendships began at camp. It has been said that nothing in life is more important than our relationships, especially that supreme one which enhances all others, a personal relationship with our Creator through faith in and commitment to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In addition to people who attend the Homewood-sponsored events, groups come with their own programs, youth organizations, handicapped children and adults, and churches. For a number of years, educators have been attracted by Homewood's suitability for outdoor education. Classes come to explore this part of our province from Vancouver and other lower mainland schools as well as places on Vancouver Island from Victoria to Port Hardy. Here they are provided with accommodations, food service and equipment. Staff and local transportation help take advantage of the educational features and natural environment of the area. Enter the Go Forth. Veteran of nearly half a century of service on the B.C. coast, she adds color and adventure to many of the programs, including the sailing camps. What a great way to celebrate the new year. If there's snow, even if there isn't, this popular event attracts families from near and far as it comes riding in on the coattails of the Christmas festive season. By now, it will be evident that there are three ways to be part of the Homewood adventure. First, just come and enjoy the total package as it is provided, or bring your own program or be part of the support team as a volunteer or donor. 
Anyone wishing to keep informed on current news and activities is invited to provide their name for the mailing list. The offices and facilities are staffed throughout the year and are at your service whatever the season. The Homewood Adventure? What is it? A place? A program? These only? Or something more? Something to do with destiny and eternal absolutes. The ultimate adventure that inspires us to proclaim with all creation, the hand that made us is divine.